If St. John the Baptist appears today in our world, what will he tell to each one of us? Dear brothers and sisters, Salve Maria. Today, in the entrance antiphon of today's Mass, we read the following. Fuit homo misus adeo, cui nomen erat Ioannis. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. Hic venit o testimonium periberit de lumine, parare dominum lebem perfectam. He came to bear witness to the light, to prepare an upright people for the Lord. Already in the beginning of today's Mass, we mentioned the mission of St. John the Baptist. It was to prepare the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So and so, that as soon as Our Lady came to know about his birth, that St. Elizabeth, her cousin, was conceived, immediately went towards St. Elizabeth's house to take care of her, to help her in this moment of time because she was bearing a child who was already six months. But the most important point as to why Our Lady did this trip, travelled all the way there to the, to the house of St. Elizabeth, was to purify St. John the Baptist. She wanted that our Lord Jesus Christ, who was in her womb, would somehow meet St. John the Baptist, who was in the womb of St. Elizabeth. And this would be the first miracle that our Lord Jesus Christ performed through Our Lady, which was cleaning St. John the Baptist of original sin. Thus, this boy, this prophet, was born in this world without sin. We only celebrate the nativity of Our Lady, of our Lord Jesus Christ, which is Christmas, and of St. John the Baptist, because only these three were born without sin. But dear brothers and sisters, what message today's feast, today's solemnity, which the Church celebrates with pomp and grandeur, tell us. St. John the Baptist prepared the coming of the Messiah, who was promised, and asked them to repent their ways and be baptized with the baptism of repentance, which St. John the Baptist preached. But in today's world, what would he tell to each and one of us? Here we have, in today's second reading, where Paul recollects the words of God. God raised up David as king. Of him God testified, I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will carry out my every wish. Dear brothers and sisters, it seems that if St. John the Baptist were up here today, what he would desire from the bottom of his heart was that these words of God may be applied to each and one of us. I have found you, son, a man or a woman after my own heart. He will carry out, he or she will carry out my every wish. What St. John the Baptist certainly would preach to us in today's world would to follow our Lord's will in our day-to-day -day lives. What is the will of God? That we practice His commandments, that we participate in His sacraments. But moreover, in this society in which we live, filled with atheism, with relativism, with permissivism and so on, we live a real, true Catholic life. That when our Lord Jesus Christ appears in today's world, He would find at least a handful of those who are faithful to Him. Let us beseech Mary Most Holy that she may prepare our hearts, our souls, for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but moreover for our encounter with Him after our death, that He may encounter us faithful, upright, as He desired that the Jewish people were when His Son was incarnated. May the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you in reunity forever. Salve Maria.